The story follows Jane Fairchild, who is played by the brilliant Odessa Young. Jane, you have no family. You have absolutely nothing to lose. When we meet her, she is a maid. She is a kind of maid of all work at this at this house in this household in the Berkshires. People were kind of moving away from the house service upstairs, downstairs, social era. Jane is kind of the last maid at this house because both of their children have died in the war. She's having a love affair with Paul Sheringham, who I play. We see a kind of a stretch of a day in their life, which was Mothering Sunday. I am of the opinion that they love each other. I don't know if they are in love with each other, but I think that they care very deeply for each other. And I think that that, that closeness can only develop over um, over a significant period of time. Um, and so I think it was just kind of important to all of us to, to, to sell that. I think we were just lucky. I think we just got along. But specifically Josh and I, I just think it was really easy. I mean, Josh is a delight to work with and, and a delightful person in general. And it's just really easy to be, he's really easy to be around. When did you become a writer, Miss Jane Fairchild? Three times over. That gap between First and Second World War it's interesting to see the kind of collective trauma and the, um, the people who are left behind and what roles, you know, people having to take on new roles and what they mean. And, um, and in many ways, Jane Fairchild and, and Paul Sheringham are going through a very similar thing in that sense. Eva has a lot of respect for the, the filmmaking process and the collaborative approach to it. I think that she was, it was very important to her to make sure that we were all completely on the same page with, with these scenes. There was a tenderness and there was a care, yeah. I wish I could take you out, champagne and oysters. I've got to get married, become a lawyer. It was really important to me that you don't play the sadness because I, I don't think people do. People who are suffering are generally very good at covering themselves. And actually the people who've been suffering for a long time have gotten really good at it. Finding the moments where we see a glimpse of the pain, often when his back's turned to Jane, you know, he plays a character to her. And then when he's kind of looking out the window or there's moments in the dinner scene where you can see his pain. We see an awful lot of art and literature about the First World War and about the Second World War. And we don't, I have an awful lot about this period and specifically women and working class women in this period and 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 a story that is aspirational about working class women which is also and hopeful thank you for watching picture house cinema's unique video content Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.